welcome back to the Off Grid Family. Today I'm going to be starting a project um, that I wanted to start, we're talking two years ago probably. Um, I want to turn a treadmill motor into a wind turbine. Now, the reason I stopped doing it was the, the, uh, the like flywheely part of it, just I couldn't get off. Now I probably can't get off this time either, I will still try, but um, I've come up with an idea that will, you know, will bypass that if I can't do it. Um, and we'll go from there. But um, this video is going to be all over the place. In between pain and weather, I only get certain times to do certain parts of it, and so I'll be doing it in a mismatched order, and I'll just try and sort of edit it together in a almost coherent way. But we shall see. Only about 10% of my subscribers, no, it's about 3% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. Please just subscribe. Um, just to help me out, I've um, just passed 5,000 subscribers, which is awesome, but I want to make it to uh, at least 20,000 this year, if possible. That's my goal, it seems really, really high and almost impossible to me, but why not, why not set an unrealistic goal and fight for it than, you know, a realistic one and just see it happen. Anyway, let's get on. Okay, the first thing I want to do is try and get the blinking flywheel off, so wish me luck on that because it is, it's on there for good. Okay, so basically what I had to do is I've put it in a clamp, in a vise, and I'm going to try and turn this bit and see if I can unscrew it. If I can't, I'm going to have to take apart the entire thing. Um, first fangs first. I'll put this, this is like a non-slip cloth stuff. You could use like a rubber band or whatever. I'm just trying to get a bit more grip. It may not work. It may absolutely completely mess it up. And um, I'll just have to hide this bit of video. I could just delete it, but I'm not that smart. Right. I can't work out which way I'd need to turn this. Um, no, nothing. I had a fun job of taking this whole thing apart. Unscrew it. Oh my god, didn't expect that. Okay. Oh my god, I've done it. I couldn't believe that. As soon as I turned the camera off, a little bit of force and the top part came off. So now it means I can pull this whole section off, I think. Let's have a look. Jeezy crazy, that's some. Magnets on there. I don't want to get too close to the camera, but look at that. That is some weight. Okay, so we are making some progress now. That is really, really badly um, rusty down there. Something I always tell people is keep old toothbrushes, they're perfect for cleaning things like this. might end up needing to get a new bearing but we'll see in a second I'm gonna see what's stopping me getting this off possibly okay that looks a bit better right see if we can get into here and see what the hell's going on here Sadly, I still do not know what's holding this in. It should have been just a case of unscrewing it, but as I say, it is very, very rusted. Looks like a device for finding ghosts. Right, that's loosened up quite nicely now. You can still hear one of the ball bearings, or more than one, is sort of grinding a little bit. Oh, now, they, now these are, if you listen. Oh. Okay, oh, you've covered the entire um, motor except the bit I'm going to grind and clean up now because I've decided I'm going to weld directly onto this um, and I'll show you what my plan is in a sec. But I'm just going to clean this off and I need to clean a few of the poles I'm going to use as the things to hold the blades.
Right, so now this is a design I've made. Unfortunately, my printer ran out of ink just after I'd finished doing it on the computer. Um, I'm going to cut this out, and this is basically where the arms for the actual blades are going to go on the um, pulley bit of the uh, motor, which I'm going to weld to it. So let me cut this out, and I'll take you through the next bit. just gone over the marks with a sharpie just to make it a little bit easier and now I'm going to draw out the lines I'm just going to connect the dots basically um, and then we'll know where to put the actual arms okay that's that now we need to mark up the actual um, square tubing okay I've done some of the, the preliminary measurements I've got three pieces that are 45 and then this one I believe was about 15 so 150 mil um, and I'm going to cut that up into five mil sections, um, 50 mil sections, uh, for something that I'm going to be doing in a little while, possibly. So I'm going to cut these first, back in a sec. Okay, sadly I've lost a lot of footage in between um, basically taking the stuff out, getting it all cut up and welding. Um, but as you can see, I've got it now, uh, well, as you will see, I've got it, uh, the actual arms welded to the actual pulley bit. And um, I'm going to be adding a few bits and bobs, but it's a bit of a shame. But literally, all I did was cut a few pieces of uh, metal, etc. Right, there's that. Don't look at my welding; it's shocking. But also, if somehow I've made it so that this is not 121 degrees, like the same. You know, it was supposed to be equal, but I, you know, there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, the next thing I want to do is add the bits that will hold the actual the blades on. Okay, so there's that so far. Sadly, I made so many mistakes that my welds failed here at all sorts. It's terrible, but it, it's working. Okay, so we have all of the doohickers put on, and I'm going to spray paint it now very quickly, just so um, in case I lose this. Um, normally, it's raining, so if I could get it spray painted now, it'll mean I, you know, I. I don't have to wait for a few months before the next day when it's not raining. Right, I've just used a super duper cheap exterior black paint. Uh, well, spray paint. I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to do under here and around the actual motor. Okay, the next thing I need to do is measure them out and get them to the size I want. But I haven't decided what size I want them yet, which is fun. But they can't be any bigger. This one, obviously can't be any bigger than this one so I'm probably just gonna mark off the bottom of that then measure in between and I'll do the same for that side that one okay the way I'm actually drawing on these or doing a, the line around them is I've got this spinning majobber which I'm not actually using but because I put it under there originally I have to keep there I might be able to do it with this one I suppose let's have a look yeah there we go that's not too bad and then just spin it round uh, putting on the spinning thing didn't make it any easier but if I put take it off there now it will be the wrong height for all the other ones you can just spin this on your desk easily easy enough anyway not easily but now I'm just going to want to turn this one upside down so those lines should be the same height wow amazing and then I'm just going to do the same against this one I suddenly realised I haven't done the lines up it and I wanted it as straight as possible on one edge. I've completely messed up the line on the other side, but that's not a major issue. Right, I've quickly and dirtily set up this jig. Basically, this is where the arm would go onto the um, wind turbine. So I'm looking at where I can add um, nuts and bolts. Um, and I've got these huge ones. I won't, I won't be using these eventually, but I'm just using them for now. And I'm just trying to decide where to put the holes um, that then attach these to it. And I haven't decided any, anything yet. Right, about there. 
Okay, we're gonna have to try this one first before we put any more holes in anything else. That is where we are at the moment. It's still got its little bag and everything on it. Um, I'm not happy with a few things. Um, I haven't got nuts that uh, nuts and bolts that fit these properly, so I've just put what I've got, and they're not correct. Um, and I'm not correct. I'm not happy with the placement of where the ter the actual blades are at the moment. I'm going to change that, but I want to get outside before it starts to rain to give it a proof of concept test. Uh, I'm going to take the bag off and then we'll go outside. Sadly, one of the drawbacks of being in a walled garden is we're not getting any of the wind. I can feel it on my head, which is slightly above where these sort of stop. But, um, give it a little push just to. Okay, so there's some horrendous welds, but it is all staying together. Um, I've made a little doohacker for it so I can have it in here for now. Um, I do want to go and test it again later, hopefully. Okay, so after looking around, I found some better nuts and bolts, which I'm going to attempt to fit the blades on properly in a little bit, a little bit nicer, a little, little bit straighter, etc. But what I want to do today is actually work on the, the case to the motor. I'm going to strip the motor down again. I'm going to plug up certain bits and then I'm going to sand it down and um, spray paint it. Now, the outer edge here is covered in rust and obviously this is the, the housing to the magnets. I'm going to be putting a cardboard stopper in each side because I don't want any of that rust going into and getting stuck to the magnets. That'll be a nightmare. So give me about 10 minutes to take this apart and I'll be back. So I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting in lines so I can plate, plonk it in a little bit. Okay, something's bound to go wrong because everything's going better than I thought. So I don't know what I'm about to do wrong, but something major. Okay, there it is, all nice and grinded. It looks a bit like a paint can at the moment, but let me show you. This is why I wanted the carpet on there. All of this is little pieces of oh, iron filings. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray the bottoms as well so that it gets stuck into the paint. But I'll spray the outside first, but I need to give it a clean first. Okay, so that actually spraying the ends has worked and it's kept all the iron filings in one place. So hopefully, come on, and just take that off, yeah. It actually worked, I can't believe that. Okay, the next thing I want to do now is put the motor back together and then I'm gonna start working on where I want the actual blades placed uh, for good now. I found some more um, bolts that are better sized. They're still not the right size, they're still a bit too big but they'll do for what we're doing. Whenever you come across um, the brushes, they're always wanting to push straight onto the communicator, obviously. What I tend to do is I'll find something and I will just clip a crocodile clip onto it. And often I can hold them back ooh, with the crocodile clip until I want them to spring back because it just makes putting them actually back in there can, um, back on the communicator a lot lot easier you don't have to fight with it so much sometimes you still have to fight but just not as much okay i said i'd be back in a minute um, and that took me so much longer than i thought that the kids had grown up and moved away so that's that's all, not all negative right i've changed the whole arrangement and i'm more happy with that it's still not perfect but it's what i'm gonna stick with i think so next i'm gonna put the other ones on and go out in the garden Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, as you saw, 
well, I don't know if you could see the voltage is very low. It's not it's not producing anywhere near what I wanted. I, it was my own fault. You know, I could have tested it all the way along the process, but I um I didn't think the motor was going to work very well anyway because of how rusty it was. So the fact that it works is you know it, that's a that's a positive. Um, I do want to get it out on a um, pole, and I want to have it out so I can do some proper testing because obviously it being just balancing at the moment I can only get it up to a certain speed anyway so I'd like to I'd like to try that obviously where I am now I'm very closed in from the wind um, so I'd like to do tests so there will be some more tests coming soon and I might um, as my friend David suggested I might do a chain driven thing so it's like a 10 to 1 ratio or something I haven't decided yet but I hope you liked the, the video and um, there'll be another lot out next week I'll see you again soon bye